Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Lisa's Spirit Readings. This is going to be... Um, sorry, I had to adjust that. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. I was going to do this the other day, uh, but my dog was sick and had to get him into the vet. He has a pretty bad ear infection. So uh, he's a Pomeranian. He's a puppy mill rescue, if you know what a puppy mill dog is. But uh, he's in pain. He's on medication now and everything. But once in a while, if he moves a certain way or whatever, he yelps. And he's also been whining and barking. So anyway, um, it's been taking up all my time. I haven't had much sleep, but um, anyhow. I might have to pause this and stop for him if you should hear a yelp, a whine, a bark, that is why. Just wanted to fill you in now. So anyway, like I said, this is a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Because this is for the Libra Collective, this isn't going to resonate for all of you, okay? Take what you can, leave the rest. Also. Um, because I'm not narrow, narrowing this down to singles, you know, in a relationship, looking for relationship, that sort of thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get when I look into the energies. So keep that in mind, okay? Take what applies to you and leave the rest. Oh, there's a three of swords coming out. Um, take what applies, leave the rest. All right. All of my info is down below in the description box. I do offer personal readings. You can find the info for those on my personal website, which is linked down below in that uh, box down there. What else? I think that's it. I would appreciate a like. Um, if this does resonate for you, I'm trying to grow my channel, so the likes do help. Um, and the more people... I've got tuning in, uh, better I can tune in to the energies uh, for Libras. Uh, also, I have playlists, everything's organized. I just did your journal reading the other day. Like I said, I was going to do this right after, but I didn't get the chance. So, what I'm going to do, take a look at your energies surrounding love over here. And then I will look into the energies of your, your love connection, if you have one over here, or even if you don't. If you don't, then this could be the energies of the person that, you know, you might, you might meet. Also, keep in mind, everybody has free will. Nothing is set in stone, okay? And these are timeless. It'll find you when it's meant to find you. So with that said, let me get started and take a look into your energies first, okay? Spirit, what energies do we have for Libra in love, please? Energies for Libra Collective. That one, oops, that one didn't want to flip. That one did. Energies for the Libra Collective. Energies for the Libra Collective. Okay, I guess that one does want to come out. Energies for the Libra. Coming right out here. Okay, can I get one more, please, Spirit? Libras in love. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Magician. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. The Hangman in reverse. And Six of Pentacles in reverse. Your overall energy, death in reverse. So, you know, death, that's about um, cycles ending, um, cycles beginning. So, <clears throat> it looks like you're beginning a new cycle in love, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure how many of you are manifesting um relationships uh you may want to date but you've got the eight of pentacles in reverse okay that's um 
Eight of Pentacles is kind of putting in the work and stuff. I don't feel like you've really been looking too hard for those of you that are single. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse. That's kind of a lack of passion. You know, like, yeah, I don't really know. I'm kind of tired of this thing. Trying to, tired of looking for somebody. But you are trying to manifest something, okay? Maybe you're just trying to, I don't know, manifest a relationship uh but maybe you're not sure you do have the magician here and this is all about manifesting what you want in your life uh maybe you're just trying to manifest more stability in your life with the eight of pentacles in reverse you've also got the queen of pentacles in reverse okay both of these are about stability they can be about um effort they can be about material things finances hangman in reverse um this might go along with the death. Maybe you've gone through a period of kind of taking a step back to get a better perspective of, of your love life or how you view love in general, how you view relationships, okay? Yet another pentacle in reverse, six of pentacles. Now, this one is about equal give and take. It's about balance, okay? So maybe in the past... Um, Maybe in the past you haven't had equality in your relationships or, or when dating, maybe you feel like you did all the work. Um, that's possible. And maybe that's why we've got the Six of Pentacles here. But you've got three Pentacle cards that are in reverse. Okay, So there's something going on with, with that. Not quite sure what's going on there for some of you. Now let me clarify some of these. Let me clarify the magician. Why is the magician here? Thank you. Ace of Swords. So you do want a new beginning of some kind. If you're in a relationship or maybe on a break with someone, uh, maybe you're trying to manifest a conversation with them. You know, swords, this is your energy. This is air. Uh, swords are about conversation. Um our thinking processes but ace of swords in particular with the magician this is really kind of saying that some of you would like to speak to somebody i believe in particular okay um let's see why this hangman in reverse is here why is the hangman here please clarify thank you yeah there we go Ten of Cups. <laughs> Hangman was here because of the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This is that happy family life. Um, spouse, kids, dog, long-term relationship, etc. I feel like some of you took a step back, okay? Um, at some point not sure how recent um to get more insight maybe on how you feel about long-term commitments okay the hangman is about taking that step back see this light around her head here um this is in reverse so she's kind of <laughs> um there there it is in the upright the light around her head is you know that's symbolizing that enlightenment um, when you take that step back and kind of, it's kind of a reassessment energy. <clears throat> and actually right now, this time of year after New Year's, very common for people to kind of go into this hangman type of energy where you kind of look back on the previous year and, you know, what was good, what wasn't, what do I want to change, you know, etc. So I just want to clarify the Six of Pentacles. Okay, thank you for that. The Emperor in Reverse. Okay, so the Emperor. This is Aries Energy. Oh, and the Emperor came in right next to this Three of Cups. So the Emperor's Aries Energy. Uh, fire Energy, of course. The Emperor is someone who gives orders, okay? Someone very confident. Could be a business uh business person entrepreneur type of energy very confident in the reverse which it is 
this can mean a lot of ego. It can mean um, anger. It can mean narcissistic behavior. And it came in with the Three of Cups to clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe in the past, okay, um, this Three of Pentacles, or Three of Pentacles, this Three of Cups can signify maybe, maybe there was a third party situation. Maybe, okay, for some of you. But it was right, right next to the Emperor, okay, at the bottom of the deck. Um, so perhaps... That is why um, I feel like you, some of you haven't put, put a whole lot of um, time and effort into either a previous relationship or maybe you're separated or on a break from them, or if you're single, maybe a past experience that was bad um, is keeping you kind of from, you know, putting in uh, as much effort. You don't feel as passionate about this. Okay, let me clarify that Ace of Wands actually and see see what we get. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? No, no, Ace of Wands, that's passion. It's that spark, you know, a new spark when you meet somebody. Yeah, the moon. Okay, so moon in reverse. This is Pisces energy. Water, um, it, it brings about secrets, okay? It br brings up things that need to be healed. I kind of feel like you, you've been healing something from the past, a, a relationship, a bad experience with a relationship. Um, and I feel like that's put some of you kind of, you just kind of put on the brakes like, yeah, I'm not interested right now. Okay. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and get the energies of the other person. Now, now some of you, like I said, maybe you haven't met them yet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> maybe you've, met them maybe you've only spoken to them maybe you've gone out a few times for others maybe you have dated them a long time maybe you've been in a relationship married etc okay we have a lot of people in the libra collective here so spirit what is the energy of the person connected to libra in love energy of the person connected to libra in love nine of cups energy of the person connected Connected to Libra in love. I don't know why I have issues saying that. Nine of Cups, the world. Ace of Pentacles. What else? Three more cards, Spirit. Energy of the person connected to Libra in love. Hmm. If you know them, I feel like they may be watching you. Page of Swords. What else? Two more cards, please, Spirit. Energy of the person. Thank you. Seven of Wands. One more card. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Their overall energy, <clears throat> the chariot, four of cups. Oh, so, okay. So their overall energy, the chariot. Okay, this is the card for cancer. This is a card about movement. Uh, if you know them. Or even if you don't, uh, there may be travel involved, okay? Um, they might travel to you. You might have to travel to them. Maybe you don't live close. Maybe you'll travel together. Um, this is all about kind of will and determination as well. Movement forward, okay? They also have on the bottom of the deck two of cups with four cups in reverse. So two of cups, you know, this is a close loving relationship they could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um with this as well because this is a, a cup and so is this two of cups as well as the chariot and the nine of cups over here um four of cups in the upright is it can be boredom indifference whatever i feel like i feel like this person is looking for their soulmate okay two of cups if you know them they they may already feel that you're their soulmate um i feel like they're determined to find their soulmate this chariot energy here okay uh they also have the nine of cups this is you know emotional 
stability, nine of cups, it's, it's emotional happiness. The world, I feel like they could be closing out a cycle as well with the world. That's about closing out old cycles. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Now this tells me that maybe if, if, if maybe you've talked to them a few times, but, but you kind of want them to ask you out and they haven't, it may be a while. Okay, we've got Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is kind of saying, now they're not really doing much yet, all right? And we have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, same type of energy, not really doing a whole lot. Um, they may be trying to nurture this more before asking you out. Maybe they're trying to, you know, um, learn more about you before actually taking you out. Um, I feel like they're trying to nurture something ahead of time. Um, Page of Swords, like I say, that you might be speaking with them. They may watch your social media. Page of Swords is typically, um, you know, can be a watchful type of energy where they're kind of checking out your social media if they know what it is. Um, maybe some messaging, you know, nothing crazy. Um, Seven of Wands, this is fire energy. This is also a reassessment type of energy for me. Um, and it's coming here with the world. So I feel like they've kind of been doing the same thing, reassessing um, maybe past relationships, uh, how they feel in general about relationships, that type of energy, okay? Let me clarify a few on their side. Let me clarify this, uh, the world. Oh, that was fast, Spirit. Okay, hold on. Two of Swords, okay, so Two of Swords in reverse, I feel like they're making a decision about something. Um, two of Swords upright can be confusion, trying to make a decision. Um, I feel like they've made the decision, or will be shortly. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? King of Cups. I, there's strong water energy with this person, okay? King of Cups, again, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Cups, though, is about that emotional stability, okay? And, and this person also has the Nine of Cups, okay? Two emotionally stable cards. Both of them water energy, dealing with emotions. Um... This could signify that they have a lot of emotions for you, okay? That they care about you. Um, but I feel like, I still feel like they're working on something. They're nurturing this connection somehow. Let me see, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? This could be some doubt on their part. Let's see what flipped. Six of So Six of Pentacles in the upright. Now you have it over here in, in the reverse which to me is about worrying or maybe this past relationship where that you didn't feel was, was equal, that maybe you gave more than the other person. So they've got the seven of pentacles in reverse with the six of pentacles in the upright. See, I feel this person wants that equal relationship. You would have that equal give and take on both parts. There may be something that they're going through right now that they don't feel like they can give you that equal relationship now maybe they're working a lot right now okay uh i don't really have let's see bottom of the deck the sun yeah so i feel like they want to have this equal give and take with you okay um that would make them happy the sun card was on the bottom of the deck so i feel like that's something that is important to them um you know having striving for an equal relationship okay so let me see the energy between you hold on let me flip these back over let's see what the energy is between you and your love connection like i said you may not know them yet it may be somebody you haven't met yet or maybe you have met them yet so five of pentacles so that's uh somebody's if, if you were in a relationship with them one of you may be feeling like the other one abandoned them, or this is, we would be a lack energy, feeling kind of lack, left out. What else? What's the energy between Libra and this person, please? Empress in reverse. 
Um, that's another non-nurturing type of card. See, I don't feel like it's doing anything right now. Yeah, star in reverse. I don't feel like right now it's doing anything. I feel like maybe speaking with them. Let's see. Oh, and again, the emperor in reverse. Hmm. I feel like some of you, if you know this person, they may be that fire sign, maybe Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me grab my romance cards here and see. Three cards, please, Spirit, Libra, and Love. Three romance cards, please. Three romance cards. So love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, you know, this one's about boundaries. Respect yourself. Don't let this person there, this emperor in reverse. Um, don't let people walk all over you. You know, it is about that equal give and take. What else? Two more cards, please, Spirit. What else? Romance cards for Libra. What else do we have? I wouldn't want it to come out. Romance cards. For, okay, thank you. So retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like you've already been doing that on your side a little bit. Uh, what else here? Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Well, okay. That's a good possible outcome, I would say. Let's get a uh, possible outcome here. To close this out, um, like I said, I really don't feel, if you know them, I feel like you maybe it's just a talking phase. Maybe you've gone out a few times. Um, I feel like maybe you're both closing out some old cycles. Just, you know, maybe you're just hanging out, having some fun. Okay, possible, possible outcome spirit between Libra and their love interest. Possible outcome, please. High Priestess, that's using intuition, very spiritual connection. Oh, four wands. See, I feel like right now you may be hanging out, having a good time, but I don't feel like there's commitment involved right away. However, Page of Pentacles in the upright, this is, you know, new time, new effort. What else? Possible outcome. The Fool in reverse, yeah. So right now, and you know, energy's changed. This is a snapshot for the energies right now. And there's free will, like I said before. High Priestess in reverse. Use your, use your intuition in this connection, okay? This could also be saying that this would be a very spiritual connection. High Priestess, she's very spiritual, okay? Um, very connected to spirit. But possible outcome, Four of Wands in reverse. So this says to me, like, no commitment right now with this as far as the energies right now um, I, f I feel like if if you do somewhat know them I feel like it's in the baby stages okay I call the pages babies baby energy um, the fool in reverse Aries energy but it's in reverse so it's nobody's jumping into anything nobody's gonna take that leap of faith right now um, but I feel like there is some energy uh, and, and this outcome of effort between you, but I don't feel like it's going to lead to, you know, if you are already dating them or whatever, I don't feel like a commitment is going to happen right now. I feel like it's further down the road with all the pentacle energy that came out um, on both sides. I feel like, you know, this will be slow and steady, you know, page of pentacles here, okay? So I hope that helped for some of you Libras. Uh, check back for more love readings, okay? And um, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Uh, I would appreciate a like as well. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday and have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.